Hey everyone, Jay here. Quick overview of Bitcoin before I go to bed. You ever like work all weekend? It's a Sunday night. You feel like, man, got all my work done. Finally, time to start my weekend. But it's Sunday night at midnight. You have to work on Monday. <laughs> Damn, unlucky, huh? So let's start this quick video off with yesterday's uh, stream, just to touch on what we said about Bitcoin. So the fact that we're at this support right now, we're kind of a support. If we, I would be looking more for longs still. I'd still be looking more for longs right now, since we're not really at a resistance. You know, I would be looking for long so until you get to a resistance. You know, the next resistance to short at would be like 17285, but ultimately I'm targeting the top of this box. Pretty pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So that's what we said about Bitcoin yesterday. Let's see what happened. Well, spoiler alert, we nailed it again. Okay. <laughs> so guys, I mean come on, like I I gotta gloat, right? I mean, we just keep nailing these over and over again. Like this is the easiest shit to read, right? Come on, it's so easy to read. So anyway, we said that when we were like right about here on my screen. And if you look at that, we did go up. I said 285. We got up to 271. Okay, so maybe I was off by $13, $14. But that could be varied by the exchange. I mean, I could probably go through some exchange, find some Femex exchange that's got like five people on it. And one of them being a normie or spermy. And, you know, find that it hit 285 on another one. But anyway... We are nailing these guys. I mean, this is like the easiest thing ever. So we came up, we, we hit a resistance that we were talking about, and then we came back down. We talked about this being a rising wedge, and we came down to the bottom of the wedge. You know, the other level I was talking about was this uh, 16.5, which is still a pretty key level here, being this POC of this range over here. And we haven't been down here since November 29th. <laughs> Excuse me, November 29th. It's been a good two or three weeks now. You know, I'm still imagining that level is going to be pretty strong in that area. So what do I expect next? Again, predicting is pretty difficult, but we can look at the, the data and, you know, see what's likely to happen here. So what I expect to happen is, um, you know, right now we're at a support. So what you do at supports is you long at supports, right? We talked about longing up here too at this support. And that you could have still made money off that. Okay. Anytime you're at support, make sure you're long. Even if you think it's going down, you never short supports. Wait for it to come back up to the first resistance and you can short there. Just be patient. Right now we are at the resistance, so it's a great place to short if it's our first time touching it. If you zoomed in and you see that maybe we wicked it, came back down, we're retesting it, then okay. Maybe it's not a good short, right? But if it's the first time getting there, then sure. You know, look for support. But after all this downside, I do expect some upside. Okay. Because things don't, just don't go in one direction, right? They go up, down, up, down, up, down. But the general trend is one direction. You know, here we are starting to make lower highs. Again, which showed another, you know, indication for the downside. Now, what am I doing here? Well, I'm looking for longs at any of these supports down here. So if we break this, um, you know, rising wedge, the downside, you know, I would expect 16.5 would be a pretty key level. Okay. 16.8 first and then 16.5. So 16.8 and then 16.5. Those two levels. After that, 16.2. 16.8, 16.5, 16.2 are value area low. Fairly straightforward. I'd be looking for more, <coughs> excuse me, more for longs at this point. And maybe a retest at the top of this trend line here. Okay. Um, but again, I would be careful because. If we get up here, maybe we make a higher a higher high. Don't be surprised. You know, it's going to be Monday. Market's going to be opening. Don't be surprised if we come up here and make a higher high. That doesn't mean that we're bullish, okay? That often happens with rising wedges, okay? You come off a higher high of some sort, but the volume is decreasing, see? So don't be surprised if this happens, okay? We do make a higher high. And it looks like we're going to keep going. But there's just a massive sell-off. So don't be surprised by that. So, again, looking for longs when you're at supports. Next short I'm targeting is again at the top of this box. 17.3, somewhere up in here. Maybe 17.4. 
Okay. Definitely all possibilities. All right. If we look at our volume down here, after all this downside, you know, we do have some relief temporarily. As you can see, JBot or little J is just going crazy over here. And the little J is already having a stroke at the tender age of five. He's shooting off all these pew pew, you know, these little white, I don't know, what should we call these sperms? I don't know. Oh, I just got demonetized again. All these little white money signs. Just shooting them off left and right. Um, like he's done previously, you know. Um, so a little J shooting them left and right. Again, I expect some upside first. Um, we might come down, make a higher low first, because you always make a higher low before you make a lower low, right? So we could come up. This is resistance right here at this line. This is the daily pivot. Could come down, make a higher low first, and then come back up. That's definitely a possibility if we get rejected here. All right, but right now the volume does look like it's you know more or less kind of recovering here. Um, but I do expect some upside before some downside first. All right. Um, in the Discord, make sure you check it out. Right now I'm talking to people real quickly before I go to bed. Um, my work schedule should be better this week. But yeah, keep an eye on Lil J. Um, he's been going crazy today. Also, shout out to Profits for posting all these. Well, he just posted a crackhead chart. Nice timing. <laughs> but shout out to him, you know, Profits and everyone else in here. Uh, you know, writing messages, posting charts and stuff today. Um, I do read everything that gets posted in here. You know, I might not respond to everything, but I do read it. And so I really appreciate you guys um, bringing in the new ideas. Profits has some really good ideas. You know, they're very, very different from mine. And I welcome that with arms wide open. Anyway, um, I'll be back to streaming uh, during this week. Monday and Tuesday are a little bit heavy work days for me, but then the rest of the week should be smooth sailing. I'm also working on a video series. Um, it's not a workout, you know, DVD or anything like that. Um, but Amdo is also um, going to be in it. So... The two bros, you know, back at it, oil wrestling. We'll see. All right. I'll catch you guys soon. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Congrats. Most people finish early, but you made it the full distance. That's awesome. If you're looking to learn how to trade crypto, check out one of these other videos.